Hello everyone, and today we are going to talk about mind mapping using Canva. Um, there's a lot of mind mapping programs out there, whiteboard programs, other ways of collaborating um, with other people, uh, and Canva has those tools available as well. So we are going to take a look at their templates on mind mapping and other collaborations by using the whiteboard selection on the home page of Canva. Now, of course, you could always do like uh, a regular search for different mind maps and graphic organizers and workflows and such, but if we want to look directly at the templates, I want to take a look at the whiteboard. So when you go in here, you will see all of the templates that are available. So from just a plain whiteboard to some brainstorming flow charts, um, and then some other collaboration templates that are available to you. And then scrolling down a little bit more, we can see those templates uh, actually showing up here. So, and we can select directly from here if we wish, or uh, we can, kind of dive deep a little bit more. So let's actually take a look at uh, maybe a brainstorm whiteboard. Let's just start with this one. So, um, because once you select one, really they all work generally the same way. So what's great about picking the brainstorm whiteboard is that on the right, left-hand side rather, um, are all the templates available for brainstorm whiteboards. So if I just scroll down and try to see what template we could use, and as we can, like, obviously it is just, a lot here can get a little overwhelming sometimes. So let's start with just the spider diagram. So as soon as you click on it once, you will see uh, those different variations too. So we see a spider diagram and then they give you some extra templates in case you change your mind. And I'm actually thinking, um, to be honest, just this regular plain mind map one, I think might be a little bit better to use. So I can actually remove this one. I'm gonna select it and delete it. And then I'm just going to scooch this one over a little bit, maybe center it better. And like everything else in Canva, just going to zoom in a touch. So we can see it's already set up for us to add and, um, and manipulate any way we need to. So they already have a few subtopics here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about 10 or so here. And we, can, like I said, we can start deleting some, like maybe we don't, particularly need this one. We'll just keep this simple. Okay. Um, and then you'll notice also around the sides, we have those extra stickies. So we have the blue, uh, green, and then the pink and yellow stickies, the same colors that they have all around here. And we can just copy and paste as we need them. So I'm just going to go ahead and just remove a few more of these just because I feel like we just have a little bit too many. So generally when I do mind maps or even brainstorming activities and we're learning something new, kind of like Canva here, um, I always like to go to something that the students already know. So for mind maps especially, I always say just make a mind map about you. So let's just do an all about me mind map. So I'm going to go inside here and I'm just going to say all about Frank. This will be a mind map all about me. I think the font's a little bit too big. I'm just going to Keep that in there. And then just below their main topic or idea, I don't think I need that one either. But then we have our four subtopics all the way around. And I think I can keep four. And I like how spread out they are. One on each side of the rectangle here. Again, you can have as many as you want or as little as you want. If I scroll here, your awesome idea goes here. Maybe for this one, I'm going to have talk about oh, my quilt bots in the way. My favorite sport. Perfect. Then I'm going to go to this one here. Highlight, remove my favorite uh, food. Okay. Then down here, we'll do one about my family. And then maybe over here, we'll just do my job. Okay, wonderful. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm just gonna zoom out a touch. We can then take these little stickies here, I'm just gonna move them a little bit closer and start adding them to the mind map. So to do that, the easiest way I found anyway is to select the color that I want and we're just gonna duplicate it. So we'll just have a quick copy of it and just scooch it over here. I'm going to do the same thing with the arrow, select it, duplicate, and we're just going to extend it that way. And then maybe we want a second sport. 
do that, duplicate it, move this over here, and then do the same thing with this arrow. Except this time I'm just gonna angle it in this direction. Perfect. So now I can add my two favorite sports, my two favorite activities. And we're gonna do hockey in one. And then we'll do running in the other. Now, looking at this already, even just with these three subtopics, is that they're fairly big. So I'm actually gonna shrink them because we don't need them that big. Or maybe we could even change the fonts a little bit as well, like make that a little bit bigger, something along those lines. But just like everything else in Canva, if we wanted to just hop over to text and we can select all these different fonts. So maybe we want more than just hockey with a sticky note. Maybe we want, uh, maybe we really like this writing here and we can add that in there. I don't want it to say game over. I want it to say, oops, sorry about that. Let's try that again. I'll just put my favorite team in there, right? So that's the beauty about Canva is that it has all of the same items when you're trying to edit them. So that makes life a little bit easier. It's nothing new, it's nothing too difficult. You can still add those photos like we did uh, in other examples of people running here. Uh, so if I go ahead and select one of these, we can add a running picture right above there and that could work as well, okay? Um, and then to share, we can just go ahead and click share and just like all the other topics, we can just scroll down, go ahead and click the download button and we can download as we need to. All right, I'm just gonna go back for a second here and just take a quick glimpse at some of the collaboration tools that we have as well. So even looking at a planning whiteboard, so if I go ahead and click on that, we can see a couple of these templates. Um, like I said, the beauty about Canva is just there's so many different templates that are available to us. Like why not give them a try, right? I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and here we go. So that's a pretty uh, pretty busy template that we have available. And again, all those sticky notes are around, so we can just go ahead and select one, make a duplicate, and then just start adding them in here. So what are the goals of the project? Maybe in here, instead of sticky notes, maybe this is where we start uh, adding our own pieces. We just use regular text, or maybe we want people to kind of jump in and add their little parts of the goals as well. And you'll notice even when I click that text box, we still have that magic rate. So thinking back to uh, one of our past videos about the AI tools within Canva, if I go ahead and click on that, uh, we could actually see that they have a couple of different rewriting uh, tools available to you. So maybe we want to rewrite this whole thing. They're gonna give us a, a selection from AI, a quick uh, sample here. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn some more, please make sure you subscribe and follow along. Please share these videos as you think would be great for other people. i uh, love to hear from you as well, so leave a comment below. Thanks so much and have a great day.